Here we go. We're back. Welcome to the Ask a Male Fit Show. Hey, I'm Matt from Matt Lane Fitness. If you're new here, thank you so much for sliding by. I will not waste your time. It means so much to me. And if you're a regular, welcome back, baby. I'm a personal trainer, registered nurse, and a behavioral change specialist. I love this stuff. And I ask your fitness question when you drop it. So I hope you'll do it down below. Let's get into the question. Three of them today. Rate my workout. This is the first time I've done this, and I think this is kind of fun because being in fitness for so long, I've done all sorts of like writing programs for myself and writing programs for clients. But I have just notebook after notebook of like, I can try it this way, I can do three days this day, I can do six days this week, and it's just fun to do. So let's rate this person's workout. Day one bench press, incline bench press, dip. So we're hitting the chest quite a bit. Also, the triceps as well. Cable lower pec flies, really going after that chest. Tricep rope pull down and tricep kickbacks. This is, this is, it's basically a push day and you're hitting chest and tries, a little bit of anterior shoulder. Let me see the rest of it. So day two, deadlift, lat pull down, machine row. So deadlift, lat pull down, you're working the back hamstring. Deadlift is like a full body movement, a lot of posterior chain work. The lat pull down, you're working a lot of the back. Machine row, okay, so you're working the back still. Face pull, so that is uh, the cable cable row where you grab the little rope and then you pull into your face, you're hitting the uh, posterior delts here. Great movement and the posterior delts are missed on a lot of people. So I like that a lot. Bicep curl, hammer curl, and sometimes preacher curls. So you have a push day, a pull day, basically. Okay. I like that you have the bench. I like that you have the dead. Do you have the squat? And day three, you got the squat. All right, this is solid so far. Day three, squat, calf raise, hip thrusts. It's an interesting. Usually the calf raise comes last because it's smaller muscle groups, but maybe that's just how you lift it. Listed it, hip thrusts. I like that a lot. Hip thrusts are slept on. A lot of power comes from those hips. So if you're doing hip thrusts, it's where you put dumbbells, barbell on your hips and your your back is on a bench and then you basically from the ground, hip thrust up, a lot of power. Uh, ladies, it'll get that butt going too. And if I have energy, dumbbell lunges, finish off with military press and then superset of dumbbell raises lateral and front. So this is a, this is a classic bodybuilding uh, three-day split and then there you go. You're doing... Three days, rest, three days. You're doing a classic bodybuilding split. Split, Got it. Throughout the week, I will sprinkle in random pull-up sessions, abdominal crunch machine sets, and the occasional 10-minute session on treadmill. Any advice or improvements in the routine is appreciated. So there is a little bit of like if I have energy. I'm not crazy about that part because what matters is how's your sleep, how's your nutrition, are you tracking this? You know, if you are tracking these things and trying to move these numbers up for hypertrophy, or moving the volume up for hypertrophy, then I think this is great. I just don't like that it's a potential that you have if I have energy. You sort of leave it at like the sort of in the wind at, at will. And it you can't track volume really well with that. It's just kind of random. So I would just say as long as you're tracking things and don't lean on if I have energy. It's either in the program or out. So follow your program, make it work. But that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. All right, on to the next one. Oh, keto. Here we go. No. Question about being fat adapted. I was very confused about this question. To my understanding and in my words, being fat adapted is the reward or graduation your body gets after training it to be in ketosis for about six weeks or so. I can go out into the world by itself. Wait, it can go, it can now go out into the world by itself knowing that it can rely on fats and proteins for energy and, cr and cravings for carbs and sugar are a thing of the past. It has reached its best form. Now, from what I gathered, we can get kicked out of ketosis if we go over a certain amount of net carbs in a day. Okay. My question is, what does this mean for people that are fat adapted? Sure, they will no longer be in ketosis, but will their body instantly go back into being carb dependent? Or does that have to be over time as well? What in the fuck are you talking about? 
I don't understand what, like, this is like the third time I've read this and I thought by now I would read it and be like, all right, I get it. And I actually commented on this, on this keto subreddit, trying to understand. I really tried to understand. And then I tried to go find, um, any sort of literature about it and I can't find anything. This is, there is no science backed of, behind what this person is saying. And I'll be honest, I am still confused as to what this person is saying. The lesson here is this. Do not overcomplicate stuff. This is just making things way too complicated. If you are trying to lose fat, if you do keto, yes, you can lose fat doing that. And if you enjoy that, sure, do it. I'm not I'm not a keto hater. I don't I don't use keto because I can't stick to it and most people can't. But if you can stick to it, awesome. But keto or low carbs, not eating carbs, is not why you lose fat. You lose fat because you are dropping calories and you can use the app Lose It or My Fitness Pal to track that. So if you enjoy keto, do it. If you like carbs, do it. What matters is the calorie deficit. Put yourself in a calorie deficit using that app and you're gonna lose fat. Don't make it too complicated. You can, it, it's much more simple than this. Do not, just this, let's, next question. I just, good Lord, I'm, I'm done. Good Lord, so complicated. So the last one, is this for real? Coincidentally, this is actually in the keto subreddit again. Started keto last Monday and I'm down eight pounds already. I started at 166 and now I'm at 157.6. I walk almost every day and keep my net carbs under 20 and try to keep my cows under 1500. Really? <laughs> which I usually am around 1,100. I guess I'm doing good. I have been following all of you on here and I'm so grateful for your advice. Well, now I'm just confused. So here's the deal. You can, it's possible to drop eight pounds of water weight. It's possible. I don't know what this person looks like. Looks like I can't see them, but two to three pounds for most people, I lean on saying it's just water weight. That's, that's most likely just water weight. But if you're crazy, crazy lean, that's obviously a different story. If you're very obese, it's very possible it's, it's uh, water weight, it, but it might not be. So ultimately, it really is dependent upon you, how much you're drinking water, how dehydrated you are, how much you're moving. You say you walk quite a bit. I don't think this is a true eight pounds of fat lost, but I think there is some fat in there that you have lost not seeing you. The reason I can say that is because it looks like you've been in a calorie deficit. And yes, if you don't eat carbs, you are gonna be shedding water weight. So I think that's what's happened here. Uh, is this for real? A calorie deficit, baby? <laughs> it's gonna drop that fat, it absolutely will do it. But keto, keto is not magic. There is no magic formula out there. A calorie deficit, that's what causes fat loss. If you're looking for fitness plans based on behavior change and science, where we go over that about the calories, putting yourself in a deficit that's sustainable, check it out down below. That's exactly what I do. To the Mental Fit Mafia, to the patrons, thank you so much for always being here. You mean so friggin' much to me. And that's them, baby. They're ticking down there. They're sliding their names. I appreciate you guys. You don't have to be perfect at this fitness thing or this keto thing. Just be better than yesterday, every day.